I'm reading a story about a pilot and a little prince in the desert. Now I'll read a Korean paragraph in English. Let's do it. I use Jumit to mark this. Uh, in the best expense of desert. The sun blazed fiercely and the sand stretched endlessly where there was a pilot whose airplane had crashed alone and stranded. He tried to survive in the harsh wilderness, in the harsh desert. As he wandered in the desert and pierced and fractured and exhausted he stumbled to the peculiar insight When he approached, he realized a small figure was standing in the distance. When he approached, and he knew, he realized a young person or the little prince eh, with the golden hairs and uh, curious uh, green eyes. In English, she and there's a burden in rest in loyal attire, but uh, here uh, the translation uh, not translated. So using uh, ChatGPT uh, translation, or uh, it should be group led to know about old story. ChatGPT some missing missing content or mm, distorted content she has. So not perfect, but. When we do online language exchange between native speakers, and then we can figure out, we can fix properly the proof, read the story. So, and then it will be okay to using this. In my opinion, so using ChatGPT to learn foreign language is very good in terms of uh, loss of input and also the customized uh, content which uh, the people got interested in and we use uh, that is much more effective 
in learning any foreign languages. Okay, so I give you about uh, Korean Munich Joseon helper. Uh, when you study Korean, and you can you know about uh, some words like uh, all the languages, noun, verbs, and adjective, adverb. In Korean, there are two unique parts, in my opinion. Is a one is a Josa and the other is a Sosro. It's um and I think that's almost of all in English of and when we uh use the combination of adjective and noun and we use it like this. And sometimes in means uh, this uh, preposition, mm. and this is uh, helper as a subject, and and this uh, and and uh, mm. also and. Uh, Some words in Korean as well, um, like in English, and many words transformed. So knowing about this is very important to learn vocabulary. Building vocabulary is a unique way to um, now we meet the Sosro here. There is, there was a pilot and then is, and so we have these patterns. An edible pattern and also has a choice. In the situation or the region or position, there are many cases. Also, it connected with connected with preposition in English. So, and knowing about that is very important. That is the situation, expression. So unique with the sosuro, with mostly in the um, story, in written language, it finishes with the da in, in 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 Korean. And also unnuniga ullu is a subject and um, uh, object. Uh, Helper. When you familiar with this blue one in Korean, Korean it become easier. But you don't because the blue are repeatedly use any any languages. Then um, you understand uh, 
just uh, you can use a uh, builder sentence uh, with uh, some words. All repeat. That is the best sense. Pronoun and subjective. So, Korean, oh, we have Josa in the, each word, mostly, mostly. And also the verb form is sometimes uh, a little transformed. In Korea, normally don't use uh, the plural. So it's a much different in English. Uh, you can to learn Korean, you can get familiar with the blue and then Maybe you will understand uh, Korean easier, I bet. Uh, there are two parts here. And then lead is just a vocabulary. And now, adjective, verb, adverb. And then blues are very important part. Some of them not meaningless, just only uh, building sentence with some helper as a function subject, object, or the uh, as the same position of preposition in English. And they are used. Uh, also the pronouns and mostly the most important thing is uh sosro, the verb there are many many patterns uh, because uh, in korean also the tense is uh, tense is expressed in sosro, the verb like asunida uh, and hasunida uh and some some part is uh with the uh, bubble form bubble patterns called sosuro. Sosu means describing in English. And so you should know about it. This when you learn Korean, you should focus on those helpers, the blue color to understand the Korean sentence, to express the properly. I found out all language has uh, these two color code patterns from the verbs, original verbs from the dictionary, and then nouns, verbs, adjective and adverbs, and then blue part, grammar function, many, many. But the blue part is one thing, always repeated. When we change subject uh, topics and the red 
vocabulary, vocabulary in radical changed. We can imagine we're talking about uh, not desert, we're talking about the mountain. So, and the story, the vocabulary, nouns, verbs, adjective, and adverbs are from contents of mountain. For example, trees, flowers, green, sky, and logs or birds and animals, some kind of. So, and the red color is very, very wide. We should build vocabulary for that red with using many, many topics. But how about blue? Blue is repeatedly used. It's like uh, uh, the apartment house, uh, just uh, with the uh, bricks and then roof. But the lead is like uh, furniture or interior things. The, the construction and structure is the blue and then like grammar, and we repeatedly about the all things pronoun. For example, we say the pronouns. The, when we see, we, we mention about people, individual people, we mention he or she. Or directly connected with somebody, we just use you or us or the plural and they, all. In many cases, how many people doesn't matter. And also like a situation about in, proportion, or counting, all the blue, blue is repeated. So it's not a big deal to understand the blue part. If you are not interested in the blue part, uh, you cannot, uh, learn any language faster. So if you want to learn, build up uh, any language faster, you should focus on the blue part because it repeated. And after you got familiar with it, you get familiar with it, the blue, blue colors with grammar, um, using with it like uh, your crater, to express these blue parts, and then you you can do you can do Korean easy and your language easy. Me also same. I do uh, about uh bit Vietnamese, and then also same Vietnamese has uh red and blue. When I figure out quickly the blue, then I can understand it quickly. Still, I get used to, I get familiar with it, about it, learning, yes. Okay, the end.